Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 8-6 from RC Hibaler Engineering Statics 14th edition. According to this problem, the automobile has a mass of 2 megagram and the center of mass at G. We have to determine the towing force F required to move the car. Both the front and the rear brakes are locked and we have to take the coefficient of static friction as 0 0.3. Now to solve this problem, first of all, we have to draw the free body diagram. So first of all, let's resolve this force F into its components. This is the vertical component and that's the horizontal component. We have the weight of the car acting through the point G. At point A, we have the normal contact force and the frictional force. Similarly, at point B, we have a normal contact force and the frictional force. Let's label them all. So this right here is F sin 30. This is F cos 30. This is the normal reaction Na. This is the frictional force Fa. This is the weight, let's call this W. This is NB. And this is FB. So now we can apply our equations of equilibrium. So my first equation is summation of moments at point A equals to 0. I am considering counterclockwise direction as positive. Since the line of action of NA and FA forces is passing through the point A, so these two forces do not have any momentum with respect to the point A. So NA and FA will not produce any moment about the point A. The weight of the car is trying to rotate the car in clockwise direction about the point A. So the moment produced by the weight of the car will be taken as negative. So we have negative W and the moment arm is this 1 meter distance. The normal reaction NB is trying to rotate the car in counterclockwise direction about the point A. So the moment produced by this NB force will be taken as positive. So positive NB and the moment arm is 1 plus 1.5 so 2.5 meters. Since the line of action of FB force is passing through the point A. So FB force will not produce any moment about the point A as well. The vertical component of force F which is F sin 30 is trying to rotate the car in clockwise direction about the point A. So the moment produced by this F sin 30 will be taken as negative. So negative F sin 30. And the moment arm is this distance 0 0.75 meter distance. The horizontal component of force F which is F cos 30 is trying to rotate the car in counterclockwise direction about the point A. So the moment produced by this F cos 30 will be taken as positive. So positive F cos 30. And the moment arm is this 0 0.3 meter distance equals to 0. So upon simplification we have negative, the mass is given in the megagram so we have to convert it into the kilograms. So 2 exponent 6 grams divided by 1000 multiplied by 9.81 plus 2.5 NB minus 0.375 F plus 0.26 F equals to 0. So upon simplification we have negative 19620 plus 2.5 NB minus 0.115 F equals to 0. Let's call this equation 1. Now in this equation we have two unknowns but we have a single equation. So we have to form an another equation. So my second equation would be 
summation of forces in x direction equals to 0. I am considering right hand side as positive. So we have FB plus FA minus F cos 30 equals to 0. Now since both the front and the rear brakes are locked, it means that the car is on the verge of slipping. Car is experiencing the maximum frictional force. So since both the front and rear brakes are locked, car is on the verge of slipping. So in this case, the frictional force Fb can be written as coefficient of static friction into the normal contact force at point B and the frictional force Fa can be written as the product of the coefficient of static friction into the normal contact force at point A minus F cos 30 and cos 30 is 0 0.866 so 0 0.866 F equals to 0. Now upon simplification since the coefficient of static friction is 0 0.3 so we have 0 0.3 into NB plus 0 0.3 into NA minus 0 0.866 F equals to 0. Let's call this equation 2. Now we have three unknowns Na, Nb and the force F but we have only two equations. So we have to form an another equation. So my third equation would be from summation of forces in y direction equals to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have F sin 30 plus Na plus Nb minus the weight force and the weight is 19620 equals to 0. So upon simplification we have we have 0.5 F plus Na plus Nb minus 19620 equals to 0. Let's call this equation 3. So now we have 3 equations and 3 unknowns. So we can simultaneously solve them. Now to solve these 3 equations you can either use the calculator or you can use some little bit of algebra. So consider equation 3. And from the equation 3 make Na the subject. So we have Na is equals to 19620 minus Nb minus 0 0.5 F. Let's call this equation A. So put equation A in equation 2 in this equation. So equation 2 becomes point 0.3 NB plus 0 0.3 and in the place of NA we can substitute the equation A. So 19620 minus NB minus 0 0.5 F minus 0 0.866 F equals to 0. So upon simplification we have 0 0.3 NB plus 5886 minus 
पॉइंट थ्री एन बी माइनस पॉइंट फिफ्टीन एफ माइनस जीरो पॉइंट एट सिक्स सिक्स एफ इक्वल्स टू जीरो तो डी पॉजिटिव पॉइंट थ्री एन बी एंड डी नेगेटिव पॉइंट थ्री एन बी गेट्स कैंसिल्ड आउट सो वी हैव फाइव थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड एटी सिक्स इक्वल्स टू वन पॉइंट जीरो वन सिक्स एफ सो फ्रॉम हियर डी टोइंग फोर्स एफ कम्स आउट टू बी फाइव सेवेन नाइन थ्री पॉइंट थ्री वन न्यूटन्स so this is the required answer for this problem so this is our required answer but if you want to find the other forces for example the na force nb force or the frictional forces at point a and b then we have to do a slight more working so let's find those as well for Force N B put the force F, which is five seven nine three point three one, in equation one. In this equation, so equation one becomes negative one nine six two zero plus two point five N B. Minus zero point one one five, and the force F is five seven nine three point three one equals to zero. So upon simplification, N B comes out to be eight one one four point five newtons. So this is our second answer. Now for NA force, put the values of force F and the force N B in equation A. In this equation, so N A is equals to one nine six two zero minus N B and N B is eight thousand. One hundred and fourteen point five minus zero point five F, and F is five seven nine three point three one equals to zero. So upon simplification, the force N A comes out to be eight thousand six hundred and eight. Point nine newtons. So this is our third answer. And if you want to, you can also find the frictional forces at point B and A. So for the frictional force F B, we can do the coefficient of static friction, which is zero point three, into the normal force N B. So eight thousand one hundred and fourteen point five. So the frictional force F B comes out to be two thousand four hundred thirty four point three five newtons. So this is our fourth answer. And for the frictional force F A, we can do F A equals to the coefficient of static friction, which is zero point three. Multiplied by the NA force, which is eight thousand six hundred and eight point nine newtons. So the frictional force F A comes out to be two thousand five hundred eighty two point seven newtons. So this is our fifth answer. So this is it for this problem. I hope you would find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions, 
when any doubts in the free body diagram or in the equations of equilibrium or in the friction conditions then feel free to ask in the comment section and i will try to answer them as soon as possible thank you